Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I will be discussing about MANOVA. MANOVA stands for Multivariate Analysis of Variance. Okay, I am taking this example where we have gender and um, three variables, other three variables, English marks, maths and science. Okay, uh, MANOVA is used when we have more than one dependent variable. ANOVA is used when we have only one dependent variable but when we have more than one dependent variable we must use MANOVA now in this case we have three dependent variables English marks mathematics marks and science marks and we want to analyze to understand is there any significant difference between male and female towards the marks in different subjects the independent variable is a gender and the dependent variables are english marks maths marks and science marks so in manova we will be having more than one dependent variable and in anova we will be having only one dependent variable now let's start the analysis must click analyze in this general linear model and in this multivariate now first we must select this three dependent variables into dependent box gender as fixed factor now coming to settings we need to select this options button in this select this check button descriptive statistics estimate of effect size homogeneity test and you can note here the significant value is uh, 0 0.05 conference interval or 95 percent click continue and uh, em estimated mean values um, you can select gender which is independent variable as a display means for click continue and click ok now before clicking ok i'll say just uh, what are the settings we did in options we have selected descriptive statistics estimates of effective size and homogeneity test and em means we have selected gender and click continue and click ok now this is the output screen in this output you can see gender uh, total sample is 93 and um, you can see males are 44 females are 49 total sample is 93 now coming to descriptors uh, English marks if you see for male 59.49 female 60 means uh, females are having better marks in English okay coming to mathematics males are having uh, 64.89 this is the mean marks and female is 56 so males are performing better than females when come to mathematics marks coming to science uh, it is a 49 for male 52.20 for females here females are performing better so with the descriptive way so i can understand in english females are performing little bit better in maths males are performing better and coming to science again females are performing better so we want to know is this difference significant or not before we do that analysis we must first see this box test box test of equality of variance of matrices first you read this statement the statement says the box tester tests the null hypothesis that the observed covariance matrices of the dependent variable are equal across group. Covariances of the dependent variables. Covariances of the dependent variables means covariances of maths, English and science marks between groups. What are the groups? Male group and female group. So the null hypothesis says that the way covariances between the dependent variables are equal between male and female now see the significant value significant value is 0 0.522 
if the significant value is less than 0.05 then we will be rejecting this null hypothesis but here the significant value is 0.522 which is more than 0.05 so we are going to accept the null hypothesis conclusion is that the covariances of the matrices of dependent variables are equal across the groups means covariances of the marks between male and female are same now coming to the next term, table this is called multivariate test in this table we need to see only gender don't bother about intercept only see the gender and in this you only see Wilkes lambda test Wilkes lambda test says that is a difference between male and female towards the marks is a significant or not see the significant value for Wilkes lambda the significant value is 0.042 if the significant value is less than 0.05 we are going to reject the null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between male and female towards the marks now since the significant value here is 0.042 which is less than 0.05 so we are rejecting the null hypothesis conclusion is that there is a significant difference between male and female towards the marks now this is a multivariate test where we have concluded that there is a difference between the marks towards male and female between the groups now after this we must see Levinis test of equality of error variance and here also we have a null hypothesis test the null hypothesis that the error variance of the dependent variable is equal across groups now in this test the null hypothesis that the error variance of the dependent variable is equal across the group means error variance of the dependent variable is equal now if you see the English marks mean value only see the base on mean value significant value is more than 0.05 it mean we can accept the null hypothesis means the error variance of the dependent variable is equal across the groups if you see for English marks it is more than 0.05 for mathematics marks also it is more than 0.05 even coming to science marks also it is more than 0.05 so in these three cases we are accepting null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis the null hypothesis that the error variance of the dependent variable is equal across the groups so this is also correct now let us do the main analysis this is called test of between subject effects now in this uh, directly we will see for gender if you see for gender difference between male and female for English marks see the significant value significant value is 0 0.892 if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis or simply you can say that if it is less than 0 0.05 then there is a significant difference between male and female towards the marks the English marks or the significant value is 0 0.892 which is more than 0 0.05 means there is no difference between male and female for English marks coming to mathematics marks the significant value is 0 0.036 now in this case it is less than 0 0.05 means that there is a difference between male and female in mathematics marks now coming to science marks the significant value is 0 0.090 which is again more than 0 0.05 means there is no difference between male and female in terms of science marks means there is only difference between male and female significant difference between male and female coming to mathematics marks only for mathematics marks only there is a difference because the significant value is 0 0.036 which is less than 0 0.05 now this is a conclusion part we have concluded with Wilkes lambda that there is a difference between male and female towards marks but when you go individually for the three independent variables there is no significant difference between English marks 
and there is no significant difference between science marks towards male and female but there is a, there is a significant difference between male and female when it comes to mathematics marks and if you see the effect size that is partial eta square this gives the effect size of the difference this is 0.047 which is small effect is there not very high effect it is having a small effect is there between male and female marks i hope this analysis will be useful for your research thank you